Congressman Buddy Carter sits on that committee and he joins us tonight. Good to see you, sir. What exactly are you concerned about? Well, we're concerned about the influence that the Chinese Communist Party may have on NBC and therefore their coverage of the Olympics itself. What about the Uyghur Muslims that are being discriminated against? I mean, the mission of the Olympics is to, to, to build a better and a more peaceful world and, and to end discrimination. And yet we know that the Chinese party is involved in the discrimination against the Uyghur uh, Muslims in northeast and northwest uh, China. And, and therefore, we want to know, is NBC going to be pressured not to cover this? And mm -hmm. what about the International Olympic Committee? Are they complicit in this as well? And what about those companies, those U.S. companies? Because we in the Energy and Commerce Committee have jurisdiction over commerce with U.S. companies. What are they complicit in, in helping China to, to be in uh, and to commit these human right violations. Yeah, yeah. It's, it'll be very interesting to see if NBC has any integrity left, and there ain't much to go around over there to begin with, uh, but they will, at least at some point during their coverage, highlight what's happening in northwestern China with the Uyghurs and also highlight uh, the atrocity that has become Hong Kong. Uh, and, and what Chinese control of that city is slowly doing to a, a once really, really great Western feeling city in, in southern China that is, is going to turn into just like the rest of China under complete control of the government. And it's going to do away with so many of the great things about that town. I suspect we're not going to hear anything about it. But in your opinion, how crazy is it? You know, especially in the wake of everything we've seen for the last two years with COVID-19, we all know damn well that thing came out of that lab. And then once it spread in China, they intentionally said, let it go throughout the rest of the world. Don't, they, they stopped domestic flights, but they sent out all the international flights and they let COVID take over the world. They do all of this and then they get rewarded by these clowns at the IOC with their own Olympic Games, which I'm sure had been in the works for years before that. But this is something you say, you know what, you just lost your privileges. Well, that's exactly right. And, and months ago, I called for the Olympic Committee to move the Olympics away from Beijing and to move it somewhere else. China is not deserving of having the Olympic Games, no. not for what the mission of the Olympic Games is, not for what China is doing in the way that they are, are violating human rights. Not only that, but you are absolutely 100 percent correct about the virus and about China and the virus. You know, it's interesting. We found out in the doctor's caucus just recently that there was a downturn in the amount of uh, of PPE, uh, personal protective equipment that was being sent out of China as far back as September of 2019, hmm. months before we even knew about what was going on in China. That, uh, that shows you right there that China is complicit in this. They were covering up what was going on and they didn't share it in, with the rest of the world. Yeah. I, I do want to show that NBC clearly is uh, expecting maybe diminished interest in this Olympic game, uh, in these Olympic games, uh, which I actually say would be great news. Uh, they're expecting their TV ratings expectation as, as sliced by about half, uh, lowering its TV ratings expectations. You can see there from Reuters. And then the, the other question is, is how safe the athletes are in China. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the U.S. and Paralympic Committee uh, is encouraging Team USA to bring burner phones instead of their own devices because of the possibility of surveillance. How crazy is it that we have to worry about this and that we put these games there, even though we have all of these concerns, we still allow even our people to go? I think it would have made a great point to just say, we're not going to do it this year. Well, and, and I agree with you. You know, I, I hate that the athletes who have trained and are, uh, you know, at the top of their games at sure. this point, I hate that they would have been put out and not had the opportunity to participate. That's why it would have been a better move to move the Olympics away from China. Right. Now we are worried about their safety. And that's something the U.S. Olympic Committee better very well be careful about, making sure that those athletes are safe. We know that there's danger there, and they need to understand that they could very well be in danger. Right. So that's something that should have never happened, and it would have all been resolved if the International Olympic Committee would have moved the games away from Beijing. Again, well China said. does not deserve to have these games. No, not even, not even remotely. That's what's so sad about all of it. Congressman Carter, uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Good to see you, sir. Thank you.